uh, coming at you with a another programming uh, practice programming data structures and algorithms question. Today we are going to be doing number leak code forty two trapping rainwater. And oop, uh, one second. I'm going to remove the answer there because I don't want to have it. I want to write that out. Uh, but Given n non-negative integers representing an elevation map where the width of each bar is 1, compute how much water it is able to trap after raining. Uh, for example, given uh, this list in, in Python or array, uh, return 6 because uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 uh, areas of water. And hold on, I'm just going to check the old stream that the feed is going. And just double checking the feed. One moment. Yeah, there we are. Good. Um, so this is a leak code hard. It's got a lot of likes and only a few dislikes. I like this um, problem uh, because it's it's kind of interesting. It it's it's easy to make it. I think more complicated than than, than you have to. And so a nice uh, nice solution. Hi, Code Real. Thanks for stopping in today. Uh, is 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 pretty pretty uh, interesting to come by or interesting to think about I should say. So let's go to the big board, and we see. All right, just for a, a trivial solution, if we're given two zero two, well, we can see that our water we want to have there is just two two units there. So that that's quite easy to see. Um, this is the example that they that, that they give and. Uh, if you remember, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. But now we have to kind of think about uh, the algorithm a little bit. So how do we go about developing something? So the the, the major key or, or a handle is, is something that I that I've heard described um, is this one right here. Um, so you can see that this is going to uh, this spot right here is going to have one water unit. <laughs> Not two, like up here, but one. And why is that the case? Well, it's dictated by the lowest um, surrounding height. Uh, and this uh, list is called height in, in, the, in the problem. So that's the major key behind this thing. So if we can think about a brute force approach to this, well, if we walk through every single spot, and let's say we've got to that little area right there, well, what is that dictated by? It's dictated by the minimum of two maximums. The minimum of the maximums of what's it's, it's seen on the left and what's seen on the right. Um, so the smallest thing that it sees on the left is only one, and what it sees on the right is three, but because uh, we're caring about the minimum, it's dictated by this. So we can kind of do like a comparison. You could th you could think about a brute force approach that would take uh, n squared time because you're walking through n times, and at every uh, spot you have to look through the entire array. But we can, if you think about it a little bit more cleverly, we can do this a similar approach to that, but just using um, a time complexity of linear time complexity and with uh, constant with constant time, just for using pointers. So this is going to use the example of Left wall, right wall, I think in the leak code solution it calls them left max, right max, which call doesn't really matter. Uh, but we're going to have a left wall, a right wall, and water. And we're also going to have left pointer and a right pointer. So at any given time in our, in our algorithm, well first we're, we're going to think I have a while loop. We're going to start our left right here, and we're going to start our right right over here. Um, when the left crosses over the right, we're done. We, we, we've seen everything that we want to see. We also want to think about, well, where's the lowest spot compared to where we are on the left side or on the right side? And if the lower spots on the left, we want to do uh, one course of action where we compare where we're lo currently looking at with the left wall or uh, make a change in the left wall, and if we're... If vice versa, we do vice versa. So this this thing's gonna rhyme like a prequel meme. So we're gonna instantiate our walls as zero, our right wall is zero, and our water is zero. And 
what we're going to do, when we get to that point, we're going to make a, com a comparison. If where we currently are is greater than the wall th that we've seen so far, well, then we're done. We just say, well, that's the new wall, and then we advance the pointer. Um, if that's not the case, then we just say, all right, well, wherever we, we are, let's uh, compare that to our wall and add that difference between the wall and where we are to our water. And at the end of the day, that's that's all you have to do with this. It's You can be... You can, this one can seem very, very complicated, but our solution, even though it's delete code hard, um, is going to be, be quite simple. So following through that thought process, if we, we say, all right, is our left le less than our right? And yes, it is. And is uh, the, le the height of the left uh, less than the height of the right? Yep. Then what, what do we want to do? Well, we say, okay, where is where we're looking at greater than the wall well no it's it's the same size as the wall this you can get a little funky with this with comparison operators um, but if it's the same size then we can just say okay well that's we can just add a difference and that difference is zero so we have a new water and then we just advance our pointer then we say okay well is, is the left less than the right yep those pointers are is the height of the left less than the height of the right I know uh, they're the same but so we can just go to the height of the right. That's another comparison operator thing. Um, and say, okay, well, where we're looking at now, is the height of the right uh, greater than the, what the wall we started with? Yep, it sure is. And then we just advance our pointer. We don't want to care. Uh, we don't want to make a difference if uh, we're making a new wall. Then we say, all right, is the height of the left less than the height of the right? And we say, yep, it is. And is where we're looking at uh, currently greater than the left wall? Yep, sure is. It's one, and then we advance our pointer. It can kind of get a little confusing with this, uh, with the pointer, because we're advancing the pointer as the last step, but I'll try to keep it straight for you guys. Then this is our first uh, interesting thing where we add, actually add some water. So if the, is our left less than our right? Yes, it is. Is the height of the left less than the height of the right? Yes, it is with zero compared to two. Is our, um, where we're currently looking at is that less than the left wall? Yep. And what's that, that, that difference? Well, it's one minus zero. So now we finally make some water. I'll go ahead and get fancy and have a little peel of water. And then we advance our pointer again. And I'll just do, I think, a little bit more of this just to really hammer the point home. Um, then we say, is our left less than our right? Uh, was our first, uh, you know, those pointers, that's the case. Is the left height less than the right height? That is not uh, the case, so we, we're looking at the right. Is uh, what we're currently looking at higher than the wall? Sure is. And then we advance our pointer. So now we're looking over here. And then we say, is our left less than our right? The, the pointers, yep. Is the left height less than the right height? Nope. So we compare our wall with where we are. That's a two minus a one, which is a one. And then our water becomes a two. Then we advance our pointer. And here's where the pointer is going to stay, because you can see the left height is going to always be less than the right height, because this is the pinnacle, it's like the mountain of this. And yeah, as you can probably guess, you're just gonna be able to fill in. You're gonna compare uh, a left wall to a left height of two minus one, so that's gonna be uh, adding one, uh, two minus zero over here, and another two minus one over here. So I'll just skip a few steps there, but that is the uh, basics of the algorithm. So something that uh, sounds like a leak code hard, it sounds very, very difficult, um, and you can do this problem in different ways. There's a brute force way where, which our first approach was, which is time complexity O and N squared. You can also do it with a stack or dynamic programming with time complexity O of N and uh, a stack of, uh, or excuse me, um, a space complexity also of O of N. But this way, this two-pointer approach that we just talked about and that I'm going to code up right now real quick uh, is time complexity O of N. We just walked through the array once. And the space complexity is constant time. So that's a really interesting way. So let's go ahead and write that out. So the left, 
and we'll scroll down a little bit. Left, right equals uh, zero. The right pointer starts from the length, the height, minus one. Uh, left wall, right wall, these are going to both be zero. And water is going to be zero. Some people will just like, will say res or result or something, but I think if we can be a little bit more descriptive with our, well, our return parameter there, I think it's a little bit more interesting. So all we say is, while left is less than right, that was the first check that we checked every time that the pointers, uh, the, while the left was less than the right, uh, and once they cross, you're done. And once you, if they cross, you want to return that old water. Then we want to say, well, uh, where's what's the lowest thing that I'm looking at right now? And that's called the height of the left. And if that's less than the height of the right, then we want to do one course of action, and otherwise we want to do another course of action. So if what I'm currently looking at in the array is, is lower for the left, we want to make that wall comparison. So if what I'm currently looking at is greater than the left wall, just reassign it. So if the, then we just assign the wall right there. Uh, otherwise, we want to add to water. And what do we add? Well, we add the difference between the wall, which is higher, and uh, where we are in the array. Then we advance our pointer. Uh, so left plus one plus or equals one. So otherwise, if the height is not of the left is not uh, less than the height of the right, we just do something very similar, and this is that rhyming. Then we just say, well, is the height of the right greater than the right wall? If it is, you guessed it, we reassign that right wall. Otherwise, add that water difference between the right wall and where we're currently looking. Make sure that's an underscore. And then advance the pointer. You notice the mistake there? If we're coming in from the right side, that's a minus equals one. That's not a, a plus equals one. So uh, there we have it. This approach appears to be looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and submit the solution and see if, if it works out. Good. We're accepted. Uh, we passed like 56 percent percentile of Python submissions at around 50 milliseconds. I've seen it be as quickly as like as 80 percentile. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty good. It's uh, linear time complexity and constant space time complexity. So hard to beat. You're going to have to, you can't actually beat that, right? You have to visit every single um, element in the array. So you're not going to beat linear time complexity uh, for this type of question. One small nuance that I think is a little bit interesting to talk about is these lines right here. So line 13 and line 17. So if we do an equals, greater than or equals to, um, we should be able to submit the solution and also see that it should still be accepted. Let's go ahead and double check that. Thinking. Good, it's accepted. Um, so what does this mean if we have a greater than or equal equals to? Well, it means that if we're if what we're currently looking at is greater than or equal to the wall. So in that case that we're talking about, like this first case right here when the index was right here, we would reassign the left wall to be another zero. And in that case, we would not be adding. Um, a difference of left wall uh, minus the height of the left, which was be, which would be adding a zero. Um, so that's just kind of just to show you the comparison operator doesn't really affect this this problem. I'll go ahead and just double check. I haven't put a ton of thought into it. Um, it looks like in this case it's slightly faster, but that doesn't really tell us much with just w one run. Um, let me just think about that because we do have a little bit of quick. Of time. This is a leak code hard, but once you have like the handles of the problem, it's it's pretty easy to just kind of drop in a solution. It's not like the LRU cache, even if you have a good understanding of that, that's like 50 lines of Python. That still takes quite a bit of time to, to just drop down. This one's a little bit shorter. So I'm, I'm trying to think of which one would, would be faster. 
So this one we're always reassigning uh, reassigning the wall if it's the same. And in this this second case, if you did not have the um, these, you'd be adding a zero every time. You'd be making a comparison. Um, I think in general, and it's hard to say. I don't want to put one with the other, but I just kind of sh to show you that that comparison operator um, in this case. So what what actually is the difference? So we'd be comparing. Hmm. I'm gonna let my poor brain uh, take take this one, uh, give this one a, a break because um, I haven't put a lot of thought into it, so I don't want to ramble too much more than I have already at least. Uh, so with that said, I think this I'll wrap this up. This was Leak Code 42: Trapping Rainwater, uh, solved with uh, pointers and time complexity, linear time complexity, and space complexity of uh, co constant time space complexity. So or O1. Uh, this is Programmer Mitch. I'm here every Sunday at 6.30 p.m., and I'll see you next week. Take it easy.